the last topic of your module 1 is about transconductance of MOSFET okay and one of the question asked is second question B part what is the transconductance of MOSFET and mention the three different expressions used to calculate the transconductance it is asked for six marks from June July 2021 okay so we have to write the three different expressions okay so I have taken it as three cases case 1 so you know that uh, the MOS, uh, MOSFET transconductance is given by what is the transconductance of your MOSFET, your drain current divided by your gate to source voltage, right? So what is your GM? GM is equal to ID divided by VGS. So what is your signal current? You know that signal current we have derived in small signal model, right? ID is equal to KN into VGS minus VT into small, uh, small VGS. That is your gate to source signal voltage. Now, what is your Kn? Kn is equal to, so I can write it as Kn dash into W by L. That is what written here. If you substitute VGS and VGS will get cancelled. So, you will be getting Kn dash into W by L into VGS minus Vt. So, therefore, uh, VGS minus Vt, you know that it is a overdrive voltage, right? So, Gm is equal to Kn dash into W by L into Vov. This is your first expression. Okay, so we have got this case 1. So this is going to be your first expression. GM, so here GM is proportional to KN dash W by L and VOV. That is what written here. GM is proportional to the process transconductance parameter KN dash which is equal to what is KN dash which is equal to mu n into COX and to the W by L ratio. Hence to obtain relatively large transconductance the device must be short and wide. Again, the GM is al al also proportional to overdrive voltage VOV which is equal to VGS minus VT. However, increasing GM by the biasing, by biasing the device at larger VGS has the disadvantage of reducing the allowable voltage swing at the drain. Now, case 2, you are going to substitute. From this expression, you are going to uh, find out the value for VGS minus VT. Here you have VGS minus VT, right? You are going to find out this value in terms of ID and you are going to substitute it. So, you know that your drain current, DC drain current, bias current ID is equal to 1 by 2 into KN dash into W by L into VGS minus VT the whole square. From this, can you fi find out what is VGS minus VT? What is VGS minus VT? So, 2 will go that side to ID divided by KN dash into W by L. Here you have whole square. That's why you have the whole root. Okay. So now you are going to substitute in equation 1. What was your equation 1? The first expression, right? GM is equal to KN dash into W by L into VGS minus VT. So instead of VGS minus VT, you are going to substitute the value. That is what will give you the second expression. So here I can write what is the simplification done. Here you have root of KN dash into W by L, right? Here you have KN dash into W by L. So this KN dash into W by L can be written as root KN dash into W by L into root KN dash into W by L. So root root will get cancelled, right? So this denominator will get cancelled off and you will be getting only one root KN dash into W by L. Uh, w by L. So that is what written together. Just reconfiguring and writing. So GM will be equal to two, root 2 KN dash into root W by L into root ID. So this is going to be your second expression. Here the GM, GM is proportional to the square root of the DC bias current. At a given bias current, GM is also proportional to root of W by L. So this is going to be a second expression. Finally, the third expression. Now you are going to substitute the value for KN dash into W by L by 2 ID divided by VGS minus. From this, can you find out what is KN dash into W by L? So what will be your value? You are going to take... Uh, this expression kn dash into w by l so what will be the value 2 id divided by vgs minus vt the whole square you are going to substitute in equation 1 okay so in the equation 1 you know that again instead of kn dash into w by l now you are going to substitute the value you are going to keep vgs minus vt as constant so what will be your value 2 id divided by vgs minus vt the whole square so here this will get cancelled cancelled so you will be having only one vgs minus vt in the denominator so gm is equal to 2 id divided by what is vgs minus vt which is nothing but your overdrive voltage vov so finally these are the three equations or the three expressions of your transconductance and this gives you the slope of the tangent at the bias point q 
uh, which intersects at 1 by 2 VOV. So what will be your slope? GM is equal to ID at operating point Q, right? ID divided by half VOV. So this gives the relationship between the three expressions. There are three different relationships for determining GM and there are three design parameters. So what are the design parameters? W by L, VOV and ID. Any two of which can be chosen independently. The design, a designer may choose to operate the MOSFET with a certain overdrive voltage VOV and at a particular current ID the required W by L ratio can be then found and the resulting GM then determined. These are the important points or the important expressions which you, ha which you have to write for six marks that is the transconductance of MOSFET and by this your module 1 is over so the notes is available in my uh, telegram channel.